Yo, what is up guys? Happy holidays. Today we are talking about the Winter Veil event in Season of Discovery. And let me tell you, this event is way different than it's ever been before with that level 25 cap. So just like before, this is a great way to get recipes that you can only get once per year. Some of these recipes will have a big relevance in the next phase. You don't want to miss them. At the same time, you can get a best in slot spirit buff for your raids for speed running for PvP as well. But most importantly is the gold making potential. So you can make gold not only with the farming of the items for the event, but also from completing the quests. Every quest you do at 25 will give you bonus gold based on the experience you would have gotten. With my questing route, you can make 10 gold in only about 45 minutes per character. I'm going to be doing this on every single character, so you could easily make over 50 to 60 gold on 5 or 6 characters. So hopefully that got you excited for the event, so let's dive in and get through this event as quickly as possible. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Orgrimmar or Iron Forge, and you want to talk to Great Father Winter. Now, Great Father Winter is going to require you to give him some cookies. That will be five cookies you'll have to get him. That's where our first moneymaker comes in, because the small eggs are pretty annoying to farm, so most people are going to want to buy them. The best place for Horde to farm the small eggs is in Mulgore in the northeast. Meanwhile, if you're Alliance, I would recommend Red Ridge, because you can also get the tough condor meat at the same time for extra gold. Darkshore is also a good option for Alliance, and it should be less crowded at peak hours. Assuming the prices go up on small eggs, because players really don't want to actually farm them themselves, we should be able to see 3-5 to five gold per hour in profit from small egg farming. However, that does actually pale in comparison to the amount you'll make per hour just finishing the quest on a lot of different alts. Alright, so once you've gotten bored of the small egg farming, you can finally head back to Orgrimmar or Iron Forge to go and get the recipes for the cookies. These can be bought by the vendor next to Great Father Winter. Now, this is also a time where you could just be lazy like I was and just go to the auction house and you can just buy five of the cookies yourself. Now, those are usually going to cost you six to seven silver each and that price does seem to be going up as well. Once you've made your cookies or you've bought them, you can go also to a vendor and get a glass of milk. You're going to have to turn in all these items at Great Father Winter. After turning in the cookies, I went back to the vendor and there's two more quests you can pick up. The first quest is to free Metzen the Reindeer, and he's in Tenaris or Searing Gorge. The second quest is to kill the Abominable Greech. We started with the free Metzen the Reindeer quest, so we flew straight to Tenaris. I would recommend swimming all the way down on the east side until you get to where Andre Firebeard is. Behind Andre Firebeard, there's a stables with Metzen the Reindeer in it. Before you get to him, I would recommend opening the satchel so you can get the reindeer dust, because otherwise Metzen won't talk to you. What I did was to death run into the reindeer stable. When I resurrected, I just immediately talked to Metzen, and then I clicked the dialogue option to finish the quest. Then I would res sick and teleport back to Orgrimmar or Ironforge. Turning in that quest will give you 3 gold, and it should only take about 15 minutes. At this point, I took the Zeppelin over to Undercity, and I flew over to Hillsbrad. Once I was in Hillsbrad, I invited some people to the group like a hunter and a shaman. If you want to kill the Abominable Greench, having at least one healer and one physical DPS is highly recommended. The important part with killing the Abominable Greench is that you have to go to the Snowman first. He's the one that'll actually give you the quest to kill the Yeti and get your reward. After talking to the snowman, you want to make sure you pull the Abominable Green so you don't get any extra Yetis at the same time. This is definitely a hard and challenging fight, so don't be afraid to invite some people you see nearby. After killing the Greench and eluding him for his treats, just Hearthstone back to Orgrimmar or Ironforge. Turning in the quest will give you additional gold, as well as a follow-up from Great Father Winter. Your reward in total for doing all these quests will be about 10 gold, as well as the Smoky Wood Pastures gift. Inside the gift is hopefully a nice recipe like the Winter's Might Enchant, which will be very valuable next phase for Frost Mages. Typically at level 25, you'd only get something like a Snowman Kit, but hopefully they'll give us the higher level rewards as well, like the recipes. Another reward for doing all your quests is the Graku's Mincemeat Fruitcake. This fruitcake is actually the best food and water in the game for speedrunning raids. After doing all your quests, don't forget to always kiss the Winter Revelers to get the Mistletoe. Mistletoe grants 20 spirit to a target, which is very strong in raids. If you make a macro, you can actually kiss two revelers back to back and get two mistletoe very quickly. Alright, so you may have completed the event, but that's the kind of exploit you can look forward to if you watch my new exploits guide. It's got all the very best exploits the top players are doing right now to get a big advantage. 